My name is Matt Largen. I'm the Director of Economic Development for Williamson County, and it is truly my pleasure to welcome you here today. I would like to extend a special welcome to our state delegation, representatives of our federal delegation, members of the Williamson County Board of Commissioners, Franklin Board of Aldermen, Williamson County Economic Development Council, members of the boards of the County Regional Chamber of Commerce, and even Twitter followers. <laughs> Announcements like this don't happen by accident, even in Williamson County, and they don't happen overnight. So today, we celebrate the culmination of two and a half years of hard work by many people in this room. Specifically, Kingsley Brock with the Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development, Jerome Terrell with the Tennessee Valley Authority, and Jeff Hutt with the Partnership 2010 Initiative of the Nashville Area Chamber of Commerce, where this project originated almost two and a half years ago. Even though the subtlety of the 15-foot banner might have made you wonder why we're here today, <laughs> it is my pleasure to begin the program and clear up any confusion by introducing someone who I've had the privilege of getting to know over the last two and a half years to make the official announcement. Please welcome the Vice Chairman, Vice Chairman and Chief Operating Officer of Jackson National Life Insurance Company, Mike Wells. Well, good morning. The, uh, as I checked out of the hotel this morning, got in late last night, was staying at one of the business hotels here, I won't give them a free advertisement. The, uh, the young lady who worked behind the counter looked at me and said, Mr. Wells, good luck with your speech tomorrow or this morning. And I thought, this has got to be the worst kept secret we've ever been involved in. <laughs> so uh, we are very glad to be here. And uh, I want to just hit on a couple, three things. The thank yous. Uh, there were, the people mentioned and, and, and everybody up here has been instrumental in working with us to get us here. And uh, if you ever wonder what the face of your community looks like to somebody who's trying to decide a decision this important, look around. These are the folks that do it. And we looked at 44 different cities to decide the next place we expanded. Um, it was a almost three year process for us. We take this very seriously. And over and over again, the people we dealt with in the community, the people we interacted with in the community, uh, everyone was incredibly professional, incredibly focused and just did a great job. There was one night that uh, Matt and Kingsley got back to me. I'd been here with a bunch of our folks and, and uh, I flew back to Los Angeles and it uh, won that night. We got the response on a proposal. Okay, so these, these folks work hard and they represent you well. Who's Jackson? Uh, we don't advertise, as you probably noticed, you had to Google us to figure out who we were. Uh, we are a uh, fairly strong, AA rated, if that helps you perspective-wise, uh, insurance company. Mostly retirement service products and life insurance. Uh, everything we sell is, is uh, provided to consumers through advisors, financial planners, banks, stock brokerage firms. So we are very focused on our business reputation. And the way we build that if you think of us, say, relative to Nissan or one of the companies locally here that produces tangible products, is when you deal in the world of intangibles, your people are key. Uh, you have processes, you have business models, and at the end of the day, you have people that execute them. And that is all you have. And so where you choose to locate defines who you can hire, if they're willing to stay with you, if they can grow their families there, if they can grow with a company, and we've been very successful in the cities that we're in. We're in 11 cities now in the U.S. Our headquarters is in Lansing. Uh, we are at about 2,100 employees by the end of this month in Lansing. Um, Denver would be second at about 800, and this will be our third largest facility when it's finished, and, and obviously one we intend to grow. So we're very excited about this. Huge decision for us. Um, why Nashville? Well, we want highly educated, hardworking, gracious people. The city shows that. Um, every time anybody comes here, and we've sent people here now for, for the, the entire three years, they come back with stories about their interactions with people, you know, how bright, how kind, how gracious, how polite. And that makes for an excellent working environment. That makes for a good partner for our business partners. So those things, the community itself actually was a major part of, of our decision. Um, on the economics, the, the the balance between the needs of our various stakeholders. You get uh, the issue of, of shareholders, regulators, our employees, uh, the people whose retirement money we manage, the, uh, 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 the advisors whose reputation that we, we manage every day by how we treat their clients. 
They want to see us not in the cheapest communities. So this was not a, a cost decision. It's, a, it's a effectively a value decision. It's can you get to a model where you can get the right people at the right overhead that you can contain it for a long period of time and it's sustainable. <clears throat> Nashville obviously hits all of those metrics and we are very, very pleased to be here. Last thing I want to say. Uh, perfect definition of this community to us is a reaction to the flood. Just stunning to watch, both the, the devastation and then the community's response. And there are a number of reporters out here who yesterday tried to see if they could get my emails up to 2100 from our Lansing associates, thinking they were moving for a second, uh, who like a story before it's out. So I'm going to give you one now. We've been looking for a way to help with the floods. And the, we don't have our people here yet to do some of the things that you all have done with your weekends and your free time. But we looked, there's a project that we like coming together called Nashville Rising. We couldn't talk to them directly yet because we don't, we haven't defined, we had until this morning that we were the company that was coming. But if one of you would like to call them, we're going to give them a quarter million dollars later today to help with that project. Thank you.